like to do, don't you? Maybe not. When I get a hold of you, I'm gonna rip your head off. You're dead meat! I don't have to put up with this. Get him out there! Get him out there! Come on, go! Come on! Police brutality! Shut up! Guy's crazy! That's gonna happen to us every day. You know, gentlemen, I certainly don't want to impose my feelings here or my thoughts. In fact, I think that most people are entitled to make their own decisions, indeed, make their own mistakes, but, um... However, if your thoughts are running... However, if your thoughts are running in the direction of police protection, I can assure you that the Chicago Police Department has an excellent plan with many, um... Side benefits. Side benefits. Thanks. Huh. Now he's back in town. Yeah. Who is he? Tommy Gallant, uh, they, they call him Digger. He works at the uh, funeral home that uh, Van Zandt's got a piece of over on uh, Fourth. Yeah, Fourth. Oh, man. We ratted out Van Zandt, and now we're dead. We're dead men. You tricked us. You know, my grandmother always said, no good could come of a lie. Perhaps she's right. Yes, justice was served, but at what price? You can't be serious. Hi, Fraser. Hi, Jessica. Do you need to talk? Uh, that, that might be helpful. Okay. I, uh, I lied to someone. And at the time, I thought it was for their own good, but of course, who's to judge what is good for another? Well, um, perhaps it's time for you to tell that person how you really feel. I think it's gone beyond what I feel. Oh, no, Fraser. It's, it's never too late to go back. Even if there's jeopardy involved? Especially if. Just say what you really feel, Benton. I lied. And it might serve justice. Justice? But it will compromise the lives of two men. Men? What? Men? I don't, I don't, I don't believe this. We're, just, we're not even on the same page. You know, I used to always think that that you were like this, this, this genius. Either that or some complete idiot. Now I just realized that you can't even see your nose an inch past your face. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, honor, duty. Yeah. What else can you hide behind, Fraser? If you just, if you just can't get out of your little toy kitty life, well then just get out of your car. Maybe, maybe. Jones is in a funeral home in a coffin under another body. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, it's perfectly possible. The body with the bullet is in the coffin with the cadaver. That's fantastic. Where's the best place to hide a body? In a grave. This guy must have been doing this for years. How are we going to find this other body? They got a judge on their side. No judge is going to grant us a warrant to go into a funeral home without just cause. You can't get just cause without going into the funeral home. Oh, true, but if by some other means we were able to determine that the body was there, might we not be able to take that information to a judge? Depends on the means. Sh show him that thing. Right, I'll need a stethoscope. I left mine in my other suit. I also need a place to lie down. Yeah, I'll get you that. And I will need the tetrodotoxin from the gland secretions of a booga toad. He looks dead, all right. Oh, my God. 
It's all right, Sergeant. Okay, Fraser, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, Fraser, you're freaking me out. Come on. <laughs> you know, I was pretty far under. I could hear you, Ray, but as though from the bottom of a deep well. Oh, what is going on? Nothing you've seen here leaves this room. How'd you do that? Well, with the secretions from the Buga Toad, you can control the impulses to the autonomic nervous system, and you can slow the EEG and ECG waves till they're virtually undetectable. So you can go into this trance on command? Well, not exactly, no. It takes about 15 minutes to go under and 15 minutes to come out. How long can you stay under? Uh, once, in a lean-to on the shores of the Nahani, I was under for exactly 36 hours. Then what happened? Well, then I had to... Well, I... You had to pee, Constable? Well, yes, I had consumed roughly the equivalent of a dugout canoe's worth of bark tea. Ethan Baker, look at me. Now, no matter what you hear over the next couple of days, don't believe it. I will be all right. You must trust me on this. In the meantime, Ray will take care of me. Hey, beef buddy, come on. Well, it would seem that he finds her even more attractive now that she's betrothed. <laughs> Mr. Vecchio? some body to the hair, some color to the cheeks. He looks good. Thanks. <sighs> Young guy. That's too bad. What is that uniform? Is he an usher? Doorman. Oh. One of the best. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, this is our Northumbria casket. You, you said I should pick one. Yeah. Now, this is slightly more expensive than our El Camino or our Fandango models, but you can feel here. It's got the extra padding. Oh, yeah. Got to be comfortable. Yeah. He's going to be there a while. <laughs> <laughs> now, also, the Northumbria is absolutely airtight. I thought since we weren't embalming, it was more appropriate uh, for uh, longer shelf life. <laughs> I hear you, <laughs> but uh, he's uh, claustrophobic. Oh, I was claustrophobic, so c can we keep it off? Yes, of course. <gasps> Thanks. <laughs> can I have a minute? Just. Of course. Thank you. Fraser, they're going to be closing up here in, uh, in a little while, so I got to go. Um, tell you the truth, I thought hospitals would make me nervous, but this place, <laughs> yikes. Okay, I'm babbling. Um, that uh, rouge makes you look like a toy soldier. <laughs> um, okay, all right, I'll uh, see you in the morning. Hey, if you find the body, uh, see if he's got my phone. Weird. <laughs> <laughs>